morning everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Lena I am a sophomore at st. Lawrence University and today I will be bringing you along with me in a day in my life today is November 10th it is a Tuesday which means it is a laundry day so I have my laundry going right now and I also have asynchronous classes on Tuesday and Thursday so I have an econ lecture I need to watch this morning which is on YouTube and then I have um, accounting which is just reading in a textbook and answering questions. The other goals that I have today is I want to go on a walk because it's going to be beautiful today. I also am going to the library because my library books are due back today and I hope to check out some new books. And I believe I have a package at the post office so I'm going to go pick that up as well today. And for those of you who are wondering why I'm wearing a sundress, in the month of November. That is because today we have a high of 74. Yes, November 10th in the North Country, a high of 74. I don't know why this has happened to us, um, but I'm going to attempt to embrace it. I would much rather be wearing jeans and a sweater right now, but I guess it's gonna be warm today. It's been warm the past couple days and this is where we're at. So yeah, I'm just wearing this sundress, which I got from Kohl's, I think this year. Yeah, I really like it. So my plan right now is make a cup of tea, continue watching my econ videos, and then I want to get to the library this morning because I really am excited to see what books they have to offer. So I just finished up with my econ lecture. It is 9.20 right now and it was a fine lecture. I find it really funny how we'll do, we're doing demand and supply right now and we'll take forever on demand. And then a lot of the same things apply to supply. So then we'll just like zoom through supply and it's like it didn't even happen. So I just find that really funny. Um, it's not that funny, but you know, we're trying to laugh. Um, so now I'm going to head out to the library. So these are the books I checked out in what seems like forever ago. Um, this is just the opera version of Eugene Onigan. I also got um, the actual novel in verse. Um, so I read this and I just skimmed through this. I didn't read it completely, but I am looking for some versions on YouTube because there are some. And I think I'm gonna watch one of those before I head home on some weekend when I'm trying to relax, which was not this past weekend. This past weekend was a hot mess. Um, but I'm hoping to do that at some point this month. And then I also checked out Zuleika. Both of these are in my October wrap up. If you're interested in my thoughts about them, you should definitely check that video out. Um, really, really enjoyed both of these books. They're both pieces of Russian literature. Um, so I'm going to return these to the library because they're actually due today and I don't want to be getting some overdue books in my life. Other note, I have this sticky note that I wrote down a bunch of books that our library has. I mean, some of them could have been checked out since I wrote this list, but I'm going to bring this list with me to the library and check out a couple books. Um, my goals, honestly, I really want to check out Don't Call Us Dead, and then maybe we were eight years in power, and then such a fun age. I am reading, um, here, let me show you. I am reading this book right now, and this is like a thick book, so I'm not sure. I want to get a book that will be a pretty quick read, and Don't Call Us Dead is a book of poetry, so I know that will be a quick read. We Were Eight Years in Power, I believe, is a collection of essays. I could be wrong, um, but these are just some books that I want to check out that I know our library has. So without further ado, let's head off to the library. We also love going to the library because I finally have an excuse to use my backpack.
So I just got back from the library. Um, I was there for an hour. I always underestimate how long I'll actually be in the library. There's just so many books. The, the shelves are so high and I just like find myself looking all the way up and all the way down and it takes forever. But turns out we have a browsing collection at St. Lawrence, which I kind of knew but didn't realize the extent. So we have a lot of books that are just like newer books that are well known. Um, so I got four books at the library and then I went to the mail center and I have two packages. So I'm going to open up those packages and I'll show you what books I got. So in this first package, I got a screwdriver and my license plates for my car. I have temporary plates on right now, but I have I got this from my house. Um, so thank you, Dad, for sending this with a screwdriver. So the next one is from Book of the Month. I did not get last month's Book of the Month, so I got two books this month. And this is actually this month's Book of the Month. It's called Memorial, a novel by Brian Washington. And it has really, really great reviews. Um, I'm really excited to be reading this. And then this was actually last month or the month before, but I didn't get it because I wasn't quite sure. Um, and it's Cast, The Origins of the Discontent by Isabel Wilkerson, and this is a pretty hefty book, um, but I'm very excited to read this because this also got really good reviews. Let's see what the bookmark is that they gave me. Leave me to my books. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, book of the month. I preferred it when we had blue bookmarks, but um, I'll get over it. I kind of went a little crazy at the library. Um, I ended up getting four books. So the first book I got was The Fire Next Time by James Baldwin. They had two copies and both of them were pretty beat up, but this is the lesser of the beat up ones. I'm really excited to get to this. This has been on my to read list for quite some time. The next one I found was Don't Call Us Dead, which is a book I've wanted to also read for a long time. It's a collection of poetry, I believe. Um, and this took me forever to find because it was all the way in the top shelf and I couldn't see the top shelf and it was tipped over. So I had to climb up there. It was a whole process, but I'm so glad I found this book. Next book I got was We Were Eight Years in Power by Ta-Nehisi Coates. I've read Between the World and Me by Ta-Nehisi Coates um, and I've wanted to read this book for quite some time and with the whole um, the election that just happened, I feel like this is even more timely to be reading. Um, and then the last book I got, almost didn't get this book, was debating if I should get this book. Um, and it's The City of Brass, which is a fantasy novel, and this is from their browsing collection. Um, I wanted to get Such a Fun Age, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, so I ended up getting this one. It's kind of funny because I was complaining to my mom that I had no books to read other than A Wise Man's Fear. Um, so she sent me this bottom book, The Giver of Stars, as a book to be reading, and then I decided to get Book of the Month for November, so that was two more books, and then I just checked out four books from the library. So now I have a lot of books I haven't read in my room, but I could not be more excited because I'm staying here for Thanksgiving break, and I'm going to be here for the two dark weeks of finals, so I gotta have something to do. Um, but I am so excited about these books. I just have to finish this book now. So it's 1044 right now and I have an appointment at 11. So I'm not really sure what I can do to be that productive right now. So I think I'm either going to... Yeah, I have an annotated bibliography due tomorrow. So I'm probably going to try to work on that a little bit, but... Who knows how much I'll get done in 15 minutes. But then I have an appointment at 11, which will go until 12, and then I'll head out to lunch. And when I get back from lunch, I'm gonna make a plan for the afternoon. So we'll see where that takes me. I have another appointment at one this afternoon, and then I have a meeting um, for an organization at five. And then I wanna get outside and go for a walk on probably the Saddlemeyer Trail, cause it is just so beautiful today and I really do want to get to that. So I just got back from picking up my lunch. Today we had chicken tenders. I haven't eaten it yet, but it was a popular lunch at Dana. Um, so I did not get anything done in the 15 minutes before my appointment. Um, I saw a Stacey Abrams video and I just had to watch it. So that's what I did in um, my time. But I'm going to eat lunch right now. It's about, it's a little bit before noon and I'm gonna have lunch and then I'm going to, I have an appointment at one. So between noon and one, I'm going to work on a plan for my afternoon and also 
maybe read a little bit of one of my sources for my annotated bibliography. If you've seen any of my vlogs before, you'll know that I get to lunchtime and I'm pretty much done having my hair down. So it usually goes up in some fashion at that point, but I'm going to have lunch and then we'll see what the afternoon will hold. So I just got back from my meeting. It's actually an in-person meeting, which is a nice change from all of my online classes, um, but it is 1.40 right now. So I really need to get to work on my annotated bibliography. As you can see, it's still a really nice day outside, so if I can get some work done on my bibliography, I should be able to go outside. So I think I'm going to read some of my sources slash write up the annotation, as well as make myself a cup of tea, and then we'll see what happens and what I decide to do when I go outside. For those of you wondering about my annotated bibliography, we're doing a research project on Poe. So I've read a bunch of sources and taken notes on those sources, and then we're making an annotation for each one of the sources. So I just got back from my walk. It was a nice one. I'm really glad that I decided to go on it. Um, I was going to start my accounting chapter for this week, but I think I'm going to continue my work on my annotated bibliography because I just realized one of my sources is not long enough. It's nine pages instead of ten, so that means I'm going to have to choose a different source. So. That's gonna be fun, but um, the nice thing about not doing accounting today is it's not that big of a problem. Econ is like a normal asynchronous class with recorded lectures and you watch them whenever you want to. I watch them during the class time, um, but you can watch them whenever you want. Accounting is like hardcore asynchronous in that we get a textbook and then we get homework and quizzes and literally no instruction. So that means I literally do it whenever I want to and I can push it off as long as I want to, um, as long as I'm just submitting things by their deadlines. So I'm gonna, going to get a snack because I'm starving and um, start working on my annotated bibliography. So I just got an email. The residence hall that I'm living in is going into quarantine. This is the second time our building has gone into quarantine and my residents don't know yet. I'm not allowed to tell them, but we're in for a long week. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to be like super sad about it because I know things could be a lot worse. Um, but I'm glad I went for my walk today and got to get outside and breathe some fresh air because last quarantine was not fun. Well, um, quarantine is super fun. Um, this is my second time around if I haven't mentioned it. Um, in all honesty, quarantine is the worst. I know it doesn't really sound like it's that bad, but... As a CA, my uh, responsibilities exponentially increase and not in a good way. Um, becomes a lot more stressful and a lot more difficult to manage. I've contemplated not really putting this vlog up, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do because it seems like kind of not appropriate for me to be doing right now. But we've just had like emergency CA meetings called. I still have a lot of homework to do. Like, <laughs> ugh. Um, yeah, but this is night in quarantine. Went and got my supper from Eben Holden. I didn't eat it. Um, I tried. I actually took a bite and it was disgusting. So that's not happening. So I'm not sure how much more I'm going to film of tonight. 
if I actually ever get any homework done, maybe I'll update you on that. Was really wishing this could have been a chill night, but alas, it was just not meant to be. Hey everyone, it is almost 10.15. I am so tired, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here so I can continue with my lovely homework. You know, it's really been a riveting night. We had a CA emergency quarantine meeting for about an hour, and it's very confusing. There's a lot of stuff going on. Then I had to check in with all my residents about quarantine rules and what um, the guidelines will be in the coming days. And then, you know, some kids threw some eggs at my windows, you know, fun things like that. Um, yeah, really just love that. Um, and I still have to do my annotated bibliography because this whole quarantine thing has basically ruined my late afternoon slash night of homework. So that's fun, but I'm going to try to work on that and maybe sleep tonight, you know. That could be a goal, but I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it at all, please give it a like and subscribe and leave any questions about St. Lawrence or video recommendations down in the comments below, and I will see you all next week.